On the corporate front, Samsung Electronics has recorded an estimated earnings surprise for the first quarter, backed by recovery memory chips. LG Electronics, meanwhile, showed robust performances in business-to-business -business transactions. An Songjin covers the early calculations for both companies. Samsung Electronics has recorded an earnings surprise on the back of a rebound in memory chips. The tech giant on Friday announced an estimated operating profit for the first quarter of 2024 of 6.6 .6 trillion won or 4.89 billion U.S. dollars. The figure is an increase of 931 percent compared to the same quarter last year and even exceeds the total operating profit for 2023. Sales also saw on-year growth of 11.4 percent, hitting the 70 trillion won benchmark for the first time since the fourth quarter of 2022. The announced earnings exceeded forecasts from securities firms earlier this year by more than 20 percent. This is largely due to a jump in chip exports, which last month were at their highest since June 2022, led by an increase in the price and demand for memory chips. Though Samsung has yet to disclose the specific earnings of each division, the market consensus is that the operating profit for the device solution division in charge of semiconductors will be back in the black. Similarly, LG Electronics reached an all-time high for its first quarter sales this year, hitting 21.1 trillion won or $15.6 billion. An earnings report released on Friday showed an on-year drop of 11 percent in its operating profits due to enhanced market competition and a rise in raw material prices. However, the company showed a positive performance in business-to-business -business transactions and sales of home appliances with its profit at 1.33 trillion won or $0.99 billion. Operating profits for the first quarter surpassed 1 trillion won for the fifth consecutive year as the company has been releasing new models early in the year such as its washing machines and dryers. It's estimated that LG's home appliance business, which takes up more than half of its operating profits, will hit a three-year high with its premium products. The earnings reports for both companies released on Friday are estimates based on the International Financial Reporting Standards Foundation, and the final figures will be further announced once net profits are closed. An Songjin, Arirang News.